servants be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Not with eye service, as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. The workers of iniquity in the B system reduce the indigenous black people's legacy, heritage, culture, bloodline, and history to slavery. The kingdom of darkness through the synagogue of Satan made it appear as if slavery is all that the indigenous black people contribute to society. The synagogue of Satan always began the indigenous black people's history with slavery. During Black History Month, the workers of iniquity highlight how the indigenous black people supposedly overcame slavery. They also like to focus on black leaders' present accomplishment as a part of our history. For example, they glorify indigenous black celebrities and politicians' achievements from five to ten years ago as a part of the indigenous black people's greatest impact in the world. They want to make it appear as if Oprah being a billionaire is black women's greatest accomplishments. There were many wealthy indigenous black people in every generation. I am not sure why Oprah, Rihanna, and the many others financial status is glorified. The scriptures reveal Abraham, our forefather, was rich. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Abraham's wealth is not his legacy or greatest accomplishments. The everlasting covenant the Most High made with Abraham is one of his greatest accomplishments. Why don't the synagogue of Satan highlight the everlasting covenant the Most High made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? The everlasting covenant is one of the indigenous black people's greatest moments in history. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. The workers of iniquity in the beast system is not going to highlight the everlasting covenant made between indigenous black Abraham and his God. The synagogue of Satan created a false doctrine proclaiming the old covenant is fulfilled while benefiting from the same covenant they proclaim is fulfilled in religion. Simply knowing the definition to everlasting would refute the old covenant is fulfilled false doctrine in religion. The everlasting covenant the Most High made with Abraham is a great historical moment in the indigenous black people's history. The synagogue of Satan and the beast culture hide these great moments in black history to highlight slavery. The synagogue of Satan wants to make it appear as if the indigenous black people is just now accumulating wealth. Black people were wealthy before the colonial masters came and robbed the indigenous black people of their wealth. Prior to the thieves claiming what belonged to black people for themselves, there were and still is wealthy indigenous black people. The indigenous black people's wealth status should not be the focus when it comes to their legacy in history. The indigenous black people have accomplished too much to be limited to their wealth status and slavery in the B system. The celebrities, politicians, and other indigenous black leaders' accomplishments that is highlighted in mainstream media are current events. When I think about history, I look past slavery and start from the beginning when the Most High created the man and woman in his image. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. Knowing the identity of the people that were made in the image of the Most High is historical and should be accounted as a part of the indigenous black people's history. What the indigenous black people have accomplished from the beginning when the Most High made them in his image and likeness should not be hidden in the beast system. Only a group of people who's fearful want to hide this phenomenal part of history. The scriptures did say the word of the Most High is sharper than a two-edged sword. When the workers of iniquity in the beast system hear the living words via the truth, 
it cut them. Therefore, they do everything they can to overshadow truth with their whitewashed fairy tales in the beast system. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world continue to fight the workers of iniquity with truth. Not only will the truth make you free, but the truth will eat the synagogue of Satan alive. The more truth that is unleashed into the beast system, the harder it gets for Satan to deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Since the workers of iniquity always want to start the indigenous black people's history and legacy with slavery, it is important for the indigenous black people understand a servant is not a slave. Additionally, the interpretation of the scriptures from the workers of iniquity concerning slavery and servitude does not correspond with the scriptures. Slavery is a part of our history, but not all of our history. Many people from the other species of mankind dislike when the indigenous black people discuss slavery and how slavery impacted their lives until today. The other species of mankind love to tell the indigenous black people to get over it, but you always start our history with slavery. You want to shield your children from your diabolical past with white lies, but show zero sympathy for the people whose lives were impacted severely through your diabolical crimes. If slavery is what you reduce the indigenous black people to, why are you upset when we discuss your contribution to slavery? The other species of mankind want to control the narrative to hide their hands just as they have been doing from the beginning. The discussion about your crimes, regardless of your acknowledgement, will never go away until judgment is served. The scripture said the day of the most high is near on all the heathens. As you have done, it shall be done to you. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. No amount of censorship is going to shield you from the judgment of the most high. Just as the indigenous black people must endure the hardship for their iniquities, you will endure the consequences of your iniquities. Creating a God in religion to save you from all your sins will not stop the wrath of the Most High against the synagogue of Satan, the serpent seed, and the indigenous black people who follow them. The Most High said in the scriptures, the injuries caused to his people, the Israelites, are incurable. Let me say it again. The wounds the indigenous black people receive from your wickedness are incurable. The scriptures went on to say there is no one to plead their cause. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. Recently, Whoopi Goldberg was exercising her freedom of speech. She made statements that the imposters claimed to be offensive. She was forced to apologize and shame publicly by being suspended from her job for stating her opinion. I mention this because the scripture said there is no one to plead the Israelites' cause. Notice there is no one to plead Whoopi's cause. However, when it comes to the imposters, swift punishment came to defend them. The imposters can have laws changed to protect them. I can't say the same for the indigenous black people. The lifestyle the imposters live does not correspond with the scriptures. Dear imposters, you are not God's chosen people and will never be. The fruits you are producing is screaming fraud. And now, Lord, Behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. The other species of mankind want to protect their children's mental health. They are pushing to have laws made to censor the crimes they committed all over the world. 
the workers of iniquity want to remove their involvement in slavery by preventing the school system to teach about slavery. They are changing history again right before our eyes. What about the damage you have done to the indigenous black children's mental health? killing their parents right in front of them with no regards on a public stage and displaying the body for the world to see in your media, just as you have done in the past when you lynch and took a selfie in front of the body. The apple never fall far from the tree. The indigenous black people had to endure your savagery for multiple generations until today the indigenous black people are dealing with your barbaric ways. You no longer get to hide behind religion and made up history. The truth is setting the indigenous black people free. The truth is causing the indigenous black people to repent. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Israelites and indigenous black people, if the most high allow your enemies to conquer you, it is because sin was found in you. It was your iniquities that caused the Most High to allow your enemies to wound you in this manner. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Repentance is important. Repentance brings forth obedience. The truth in the awakening encourages repentance. Israelites, the difference between you and the other species of mankind, you are being judged right now for your iniquities. The other species of mankind must wait until the times of the heathens are fulfilled. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The other species of mankind are deceived to believe because they have yet to be judged for their crimes that the Most High is pleased with them. You're just the vessel of this honor the Most High used to chastise his people to push the indigenous black people to seek his face. It was through hardship and negative treatment in the beast system that led me to ask the Most High why. From there, the Most High began to reveal truth. The truth gave me the wisdom that I needed to repent and strengthen my relationship with the Elohim of Israel by seeking his face. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Israelites and indigenous black people, ask the Most High to guide you with the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, that will reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Having the correct interpretation of the scriptures is important. It was through false interpretation of the scriptures by the synagogue of Satan that caused the indigenous black people to accept slave culture. The workers of iniquity use religion to get the indigenous black people to accept slavery. The curse of Ham doctrine is one of the many doctrines used to keep the indigenous black people in slavery. Everywhere the scriptures mention servant, the high level workers of iniquity and religion substitute with slavery. A prime example, the scripture said Noah cursed Canaan and said a servant of servants he would be to his brothers. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Nowhere in the Bible did the scriptures declare the indigenous black people were cursed to be slaves. The scripture said a servant, Canaan, the son of Ham, would become to his brothers. Who are the Canaanites today? The scriptures did not say all black people are the curse of Ham. If the religious leaders are teaching these dangerous doctrines, are they ministers of righteousness or disciples of Satan? If the so-called anointed pastors in religion are saying, God said black people are the curse of Ham, Show me in the Bible the supporting scriptures that prove black people are the curse of Ham. By their logic, they are claiming all black people are Canaanites. The other species of mankind swear they are the foundation to all the nations in this world and the Bible. Their demonic doctrines of devils are nothing but lies. Satan is the father of lies, making the high level workers of iniquity disciples of Satan. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. 
He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The Most High deal with bloodlines. The Most High does not combine the various bloodlines into one simply because the people share the same skin color and appearance. Bloodline is what differentiate another indigenous black person from their counterpart. The B system combine all indigenous black people into one bloodline. That way they can use the scriptures to justify their cruelty against the indigenous black people all over the world. The Kenyanite bloodline is not the same with Mizraim's bloodline. Although they are brothers, they are of two bloodlines within the Hematic bloodline. That is why the scriptures clearly specify the Kenyanites were cursed. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. The punishment from the curse placed on Canaan, the Canaanites became a servant to his brethren. The scriptures did not say a slave, but a servant. Indigenous black people, a servant and a slave is not the same. There is a difference between a slave and a servant. The other species of mankind replace servant in the scriptures with slave to maintain control and to keep you in slavery. The religious leaders of today are not teaching truth and the scriptures agree. For the leaders of this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed. Servant is defined as a person who performed duties for others, especially a person employed in a house on domestic duties or a personal attendant. A slave is defined as a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them. The beast system recognized that a servant and a slave is not the same. Their own words testify against them. The scripture said a servant the Canaanites would become to their brethren. Therefore, if the other species of mankind believe the indigenous black people are the curse of him, why did you enslave the indigenous black people when the scripture said a servant they should become to their brethren? By the way, the other species of mankind are not the indigenous black people's brethren. It is time for the people to sit their religious leaders down and ask what wickedness is coming from their pulpit. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Your religious leaders are not teaching the word of the Most High. One of the many excuses from the other species of mankind is that black people enslave other black people. Even if black people enslave their own, it doesn't give you permission to do the same. White people are killing other white people. Does it give me permission to take a white person's life? Do you know what happened to the people that last enslaved the chosen people, the Israelites? They were destroyed. The Most High said to Pharaoh, let my people go. And we all know what happened after that. Today, Mizraim is a base kingdom, no longer a glorious nation. The pharaohs no longer exist due to their wickedness against the Israelites. It shall be the basest of the kingdoms. Neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them, that they shall no more rule over the nations. It is important to take your time when reading the word of the Most High. The other species of mankind is not the indigenous black people's brothers and sisters. Therefore, they are disqualified. The scripture said a servant to his brothers, the Canaanites would become. His brothers were Mizraim, Cush, and Foot. Ham's children are indigenous black people. The curse placed on Canaan did not make him a servant to all people, just to his brothers. Indigenous Black people, I hope you are beginning to see how important it is to have the proper context of the scriptures. The Holy Spirit can help you with understanding the scriptures. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. 
For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Servitude, according to the scriptures, was not abusive, nor slavery. The colonial masters who invade the indigenous black people's land assume the servants the indigenous black people had were slaves. Just as they twisted the scriptures and declare all black people are the curse of Ham and they are to be slaves. It was a part of the indigenous black people's traditions to have servants. The scriptures approve of servitude, not slavery. Even the Messiah was a servant. The Most High never approve of chattel slavery. The kingdom of darkness endorsed slavery. The beast system glorifies Satan, for he is the God of this world. That is whom the other species of mankind worship. The Israelites, as well as many other indigenous black bloodlines in the scriptures, had servants. The servants they had were treated like a member of the family. Abraham, whom many claim are their forefather, he had servants and his servant was the head of all of his affairs. His servant was the one who found his son Isaac a wife. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh. And I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. The Most High made sure anyone who was a servant had rights and their freedom was not taken away from them. If the indigenous black people had hired servants during the year of Jubilee, the servants had the right to return to his or her family. In addition, the scripture said you should not rule over your hired servants with rigor. And as a yearly hired servant shall he be with him, and the other shall not rule with rigor over him in thy sight. And if he be not redeemed in these years, then he shall go out in the year of Jubilee, both he and his children with him. The slave masters or colonial masters skip that part of the scripture. There's no scripture that support what the other species of mankind did to the indigenous black people during chattel slavery. We read about servitude in the scriptures. The people were either hired servants or put in a servant position due to a curse like the Canaanites. Slavery was not of the most high. The scripture said the Israelites, the chosen people, are the most high's servants. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Once the other species of mankind enslaved the indigenous black people worldwide, they appointed themselves master over their slaves. A master is not greater than his servant. The scripture said no one should be called master. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. I guess they skipped that scripture as well. When Yeshua came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he did not come to be served, but to be a servant. His people viewed him as a master, yet Yeshua washed his disciples' feet. Did the slave masters or colonial masters who appointed themselves over the indigenous black people wash the indigenous black people's feet? So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me master and lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your lord and master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Until this day, the slave masters have yet to follow Yeshua's example. The other species of mankind believe they are behind everything great that has ever happened in this world. Yet their behavior revealed they are the thieves that came to steal, kill, and destroy. Nothing about the other species of mankind say righteousness. The other species of mankind believe they are superior and entitled. I don't understand how a people whose genetics are recessive believe they are superior, nor a people who came after the indigenous black people are the foundation to this world. To the other species of mankind, you say you are superior. The scripture said the greatest among us would be servants. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. 
the indigenous black people are the greatest because they are the ones that have been servants from the beginning. The fruits the other species of mankind are producing are not aligning with the scriptures. Israelites and indigenous black people, it is good to know what the most high say about doctrines, the workers of iniquity force on you to get you to comply. There are many doctrines and laws forced on the indigenous black people that goes against the will of the most high. The synagogue of Satan began the indigenous black people's history and legacy with slavery. We must shine a light on the wickedness that took place because there is nothing to glorify about slavery. Now that many indigenous black people are waking up and understanding the amount of whitewashing took place in the scriptures and history, many people are recognizing the number of lies told. Because of the awakening, the serpent seed is trying to erase history to change what took place. They want to clean up their reputation under false pretense. They don't want to take any responsibility. They just don't want to talk about their involvement to keep their crimes hidden. Today in the beast system, the other species of mankind have the best reputation even though nothing has changed. Many indigenous black people admire them despite being the biggest criminals on the planet. They use the media and man-made laws to cover their crimes. The indigenous black people lust after the other species of mankind. Look how quickly the indigenous black people forget. If you're going to play with serpents, don't be surprised when the serpent bite you and kill you with its venom. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Israelites and indigenous black people, you are in a slave position due to iniquity. The Israelites have been in multiple captivity due to sin. Even the scripture state is the Israelites servants are they a homeborn slave? Why are they spoiled? Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Sin and iniquity will keep you in captivity. Repentance is the answer. The truth will lead you into the arms of the Most High, for he is truth. False interpretation of the scriptures led to the indigenous black people accepting slave culture today. Once you hear the truth, indigenous black people, do not be hearers only. Make sure you're doers of the word. Obey the voice of the Most High. The indigenous black people's legacy and history is far more impressive than what you've been taught in the beast system. Return to the Most High. He is the only one who can redeem you and restore your dominion. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings, they did not hear nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, Like as the Lord of hosts ought to do unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us.